Hi guys, welcome to Tech Grant. So today's problem is find the duplicate number. It says that given an array of integer of num containing n plus one integer, where each integer is in range of one to n itself, and uh, we need to uh, find the duplicate integer. And it says that there is only one number in this particular array which is duplicate. So we need to return that. It says that you can you solve the problem with run complexity less than O of n square. Definitely we'll do that. And constant space also we'll solve it in constant space. How can you prove at least one duplicate? Okay, and uh, without modifying the array nums. So we'll not modify the array nums. So when you approach or when you get question like these, I feel the best approach to take is the bucketing logic of array, and that is what we are going to do here. Um, if nothing is present, then I think they are expecting a minus one. So we'll do that. What we'll do is we'll create a result array because it says that without modifying the array. So okay. So result will be int of this and uh, num start length. And what we need to do is and uh, the key part here is that it is the value is in range of 1 to n itself so it does not go beyond that so this length we can make it as plus 1 so that is the thing or actually it will be in length of n plus 1 yeah not required so uh, what we can do is we can just traverse the array here and we will um, say integer value in nums and uh, the result that we have created this val plus plus so this is how we implement the bucketing logic so each number that is coming here will put it in the bucket of our result so initially if you see this uh, result that we have that result array will be uh, suppose I have to implement this so this is of length 5 so initially my result array will look something like this it will have 5 0 this will be the 0th position this is first position second third and fourth so this is of length 5 now when I say I will traverse this list so I will go to one first so one is and I say result of val so result of 1 plus plus so this will be incremented to 1 Next I go to 3, so I will increment 3 to 1. Next I go to 4, I will increment it to 1. Next I go to 2, I increment it to 1. Again I encounter 2, so I incremented it to 2. And now I just need to check that, which is the duplicate. So duplicate will have count greater than 1. So I will just go through this and I will say for int i equal to 0 i less than the results length and i plus plus and if you have something where result of i is greater than equal or it's greater than 1 so you return that number so if some value is written it's greater than that so you return that ith position basically so here you return the second position because second position's value is greater than one so you return i if nothing is found then in the end you can say just return minus one so that should be it mm. expected this oh sorry this is stupid So that's it. It is marked as medium, but I feel it should be like uh, uh, an easy kind of problem. There are other some of the problems on lead code which are marked as easy, which are much tougher than this one. So that's it for the video. See you in the next one. Bye.